Where history breathes, heroes rise, and battles never fade. Welcome to War Chronicle. China's path from flying outdated reverse-engineered Soviet fighters to building world-class stealth. Jets is one of the most dramatic transformations in modern military aviation. The story begins in the late 1950s. The newly formed people, S. Republic of China, sought to modernize its air force, but had limited domestic technology. The Soviet Union, then an ally, provided aircraft designs and technical support. One of the first mass-produced Chinese fighters was the Shenyang J-6, a licensed copy of the Soviet Mi G-19. Introduced in 1959, the J-6 was a supersonic twin-engine jet with basic air-to-air -air combat capabilities. For decades, it formed the backbone of the People's Liberation Army Air Force, PLAAF. Though it was already becoming obsolete by the 1970s, the next major step came with the Chengdu J-7, China's reverse-engineered version of the Soviet MiG-21. Production began in the early 1960s, but political turmoil, including the Sino-Soviet split and the Cultural Revolution's load progress, J-7 was faster and more maneuverable than the J-6. Capable of speeds over Mach 2, but it still relied heavily on Soviet Terra technology. Despite its limitations, the J-7 remained in service for decades and was exported to countries across Asia and Africa, it's marking China's first real entry into the global fighter market. By the 1980s, China realized it needed a true indigenous design to keep pace with modern air combat. This led to the J-8 Interceptor, designed for long-range interception rather than dogfighting. The J-8's two-in engine, larger airframe, and radar allowed it to engage targets at higher altitudes and greater distances. However, it still lagged behind the latest Western and Soviet fighters in avionics and missile technology. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, with tensions easing, China even sought limited cooperation with Western aerospace firms to upgrade its aircraft. But the 1989 Tiananmen Square incident cut off much of that access. A turning point came in the 1990s, when China began purchasing advanced Sukhoi Su-27 flanker fighters from Russia. These aircraft, and later, their license-built Chinese variants, known as the J-11, exposed Chinese engineers to fourth-generation fighter design principles. The J-11 program significantly improved China's capabilities in radar, weapons integration, and aerodynamics. Around the same time, China developed the J-10, its first truly modern indigenous multi-role fighter. With delta wings, canards, and modern avionics, the J-10 marked China's leap into producing competitive fourth-generation fighters without foreign blueprints. By the 2010s, China set its sights on fifth-generation stealth technology. This ambition produced the Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon, first revealed in 2011 and officially entering service in 2017. The J-20 features stealth-shaping, advanced radar-absorbent coatings, long-range sensors, and internal weapons bays. Designed for beyond visual range dominance, it is meant to challenge American F-22s and F-35s in the Pacific theater. While questions remain about its engine performance and true stealth capabilities, the J-20 symbolizes China. Its transformation from a nation copying foreign designs to one capable of producing cutting-edge combat aircraft. From the rugged J-6 to the sleek J-20, China's jet fighter journey is not just about technology. It's a story of political change, global rivalry, and a relentless drive for self-reliance. In just six decades, the PLAAF has evolved from flying outdated Soviet hand-me-downs to fielding stealth fighters that rival the best in the world. This was War Chronicle. Subscribe and march with us into the next untold chapter of war.